Ladies and gentlemen, our famous Chinese grandmaster has literally turned the board over because since the tournament literally started, Ding Leland has literally not seen a win. He hasn't won anybody. Instead, he has been drawing, losing, drawing, losing. He has about four draws. And just yesterday, when he played the world number two, Hikaru Nakamura, in the Norway Chess Tournament 2024, he played something brilliant, something spectacular that everyone should see. That's, that's the game I'm going to be bringing to you right now. The game between Ding Liren, our Chinese Grandmaster, and the American Japanese player Hikaru Nakamura. Stick with me, guys. The game starts with knight f3, d5, e3, knight f6, c4, and e6. That's what the game started with. Ding Lengen is trying playing black here, and Nakamura is playing white. The game we try continues. Nakamura moves his knight to c3, and Ding Lengen brings his bishop to e7. Both of them looking for ways to you know, improve their development, and the game we try kept on going. Nakamura instead, you know plays what he knows how to play best and then Ding Liren starts to attack. He pushes his pawn forward to d4. Now, will Nakamura have a very good response for this move? Yes, it's Nakamura. Nakamura moves his knight away. You no, know, he moves his knight away and Ding Liren, we try brings his knight, try to you know activate his minor pieces. The Nakamura captures, Ding Liren captures back and now Nakam Nakamura castles. And the game we try continues, you know, with a lot of advancement, development, trying to, you know, get more control of the center. And then from here, once, from here, just look at this. Nakamura, when Digleren brought his bishop out, you know, trying to, you know, put more pressure on the center, Nakamura attacked it. The bishop moved back. And then Nakamura pushes his pawn forward. Very brilliant move. I love that move. Captures and instead of capturing with the knight, he captures with the bishop, activating the last minor pieces he has at the bar at the back of his board. You know, the bishop was literally not activated. So the game which I continues. Dingleren centralizes his rook. Nakamura pushes forward. I love that guy. His sense of gameplay is just so nice. Nice game, Nakamura. I love. I love watching Grandmaster's games. I'm not good. I'm not lying to you. So the game which I continues, Nakamura, I mean Dingleren pushes his bishop back and Nakamura brings his knight back, trying to you know activate it on a more good and powerful square. Dingleren brings his queen forward. Nakamura captures. Dingleren captures back. And then Nakamura pushes his knight forward, trying to look for outposts in order to exploit Dingleren King. The Glee saw this, you know, pushes his pawn forward, stopping that only square in order for any checks to happen on the board. And instead of Nakamura to, you know, look for other means, Nakamura insisted on pushing his queen there. He pushed his queen there saying, Dingleren, I want to see what you want to do. And the Glee was like, oh wow, you brought your queen to my king's side? Okay, fine. The Glee pushes his king forward saying, do your worst. I want to see what you want to do. Wow. And then Nakamura now start bringing his knight forward, you know, trying to you know, put his knight on maybe the d6 square and, you know, try to find more reasonable exploit. Like the outposts are literally much in this game. You can see a lot of outposts in this game. And then Dinklena plays his brilliant win, brings his bishop here. Nakamura captures. Dinklena captures with the pawn, sending Nakamura back. Go back. That what Nakamura said. I mean, that what Dingleren said. Nakamura now retreats has to know, retreats with his queen. There's nothing to do there except you want to lose your queen. He retreats with his queen to a more safer square. And then Dingleren doubles up both his queen and the rook. Nakamura pushes forward. Dingleren captures. Nakamura captures back. And then Dingleren captures, winning a pawn for free. There. He just won a pawn. But it was not free. Because from here, Nakamura played something. He played something. And when he played this, the knight has to go back. And then Nakamura, I don't know, this move, 
Stockfish said the move Nakamura played at this moment was a mistake. You guys should usually see and make judge of this. Nakamura captured this pawn. And just look at how the stockfish went down. How? Why? Why should he capture the pawn? He captured the pawn. Dingleri captured the pawn back. Saying he has to win that is extra pawn. Nakamura saw this and this the stockfish said the best move here was queen to f3. Nakamura did not play queen to f3. Instead, he played this. This was the moment Nakamura fucked up. Now, Dingle captured the pawn. He starts his attack. He shows the world why he's the Chinese Grandmaster. He's not just the Chinese Grandmaster, just from out. Just because he can't win any game doesn't mean he's not a Grandmaster. He captures the pawn. Nakamura centralizes the rook. Dingle pushes forward. Now, I'm the one to push forward in this game. Nakamura brings his queen back. Dingle centralizes his knight. Like, now, just look. Just look. He captures, captures. Now, Nakamura. Nak Dinglele will try to start pushing his pawn forward. Nakamura ignores the pawn and will try to place this. And then Dinglele starts his fiery power. He gives the king a check. He gives the king a check. That knight there that was usually trying to block everywhere had to now go back to block. And Dinglele will try to push his forward. Damn! <laughs> Nakamura knew at this moment that there was no way he could try to stop this. There was no way. And he said that he, like, he brings his knight there and then just know that the series of what's going to follow it next is just, you know, very, very brilliant. And at this moment, the moment Nakamura and Dingleren pushed this pawn, it's finished. There was no way, no outpost. Imagine the stockfish is giving you minus 10 in a game, a grandmaster's game. What else do you want in the game? Nakamura, uh, the Dingleri captured the pawn, and Nakamura tried, I mean, Nakamura captured the pawn, and Dingleri retried promoted to a queen. Just look at it. Two rooks, two queen on a board, on a grandmaster's board. Damn. Damn, man. Well, <laughs> Dingleri, I mean, Nakamura captured the bishop, and knowing that from here, there are a lot of things to explore. Dickler captured the knight with the rook, and at this moment, Nakamura literally resigned. Even though it was just one one minute, eleven seconds up, and Dickler literally had forty three minutes. I mean, for three seconds, which was literally enough to checkmate the chess number two. With this he heavy power on this board, trust me, Nakamura will literally have been checkmated in a very bad way. So literally resigned. What a good game from the Chinese grandmaster. A very interesting game. I love this game. It's very nice. Like, a very good win for him. So, guys, stick to me in this channel. I'm trying to get my 4,000 watch hour on YouTube. I'm just trying to be a very good YouTuber. I'm trying to be a very good chess commentator. Please, guys, rate my videos. I don't know. Just help to go into the comment section. Say what you think about my video. Tell me what you think is good. Tell me what you think is bad. And I'll try to improve myself. I love you guys. Click the subscribe button. Leave the thumb up. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.